And I think it's a good question, like, what just happened in our world to make us more conscious of how we play a part in this day? And maybe not everybody in the world's having that experience, but I'm having that experience on a regular basis of becoming more and more aware of the impact of the choices I make and the configurations that, of people that I'm with. Are we paying attention to how our circles change? Are we paying attention to the particular configuration of people we have the privilege of doing something with? People come in into the service, and it's a very different group that I get to speak to. Does it matter? You bet it does. Because those who are present create the circle which the magic can happen within. And if you care about the circle and you play your part, then you get to create the service as well. But is this being held by all of us who are paying attention? Yes, it is. I, I've had this experience all my life of feeling like this was, in the back of my mind, it's impossible to change the world because I'm one person. But then I also have this experience, if it's not one person doing it with another, and then another, the world is never going to be changed. So I'm looking for the people who are interested in doing this with me and holding a container that we all take responsibility for and we all care about. And then I realized, if you think about, what is 7.3 billion right now on the planet? So if you just turn backwards and look at your ancestors, I, I've tr I, if someone knows how to calculate how many ancestors you've got, I'd like to know. But I would guess, considering I'm still alive and I'm a daughter of all the generations that survived, I've got at least a million behind me, right? And so in, I'm just going to look at them for a minute. Thank you. Thank you for surviving. Thank you for, for my connection to life. And if we think in terms of changing the world this way, I want to say we also can draw all of that into this moment. I welcome my ancestors. I bow to my ancestors. I thank my ancestors for surviving long enough that I could come and do what I came, I'm here to do. And if they're all backing me up, vibrationally, they are also connected to lots more people than me, holding this whole experience together. It's not about a singular romance. It's about finding your people, raising your hand around the world, letting the current move way up here, because you don't want to drown anymore. You know that as the stars hold the, so the sky, they don't, you, we don't wake up or go to bed noticing that they've all changed position, saying, I'd really rather be over there. It's not a matter of being better. It's a matter of standing with your hand up wherever you are and saying yes and allowing the people who will hold your hand hold the circle with you. It doesn't come so grandly or so biblically. It happens by the intimate look into another person's face. When you see through all the static, you see past all the disturbance into the heart of what truly is happening. This is holy. What we're doing is a holy adventure, wholesome and holy, magnificent and wonderful. The power that we have to bless is magnified when we give thanks for our ancestors and give thanks into our future.